Disclaimer, this video contains the informations published by the Department of Education in line with the milk. I do not assert ownership on the material being used. Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about the visibility rules by 4, 8, 12, and 11. Let's start kids! Let's have fun! Be a mathinic and mathalino! Tara nang matuto! In our previous lesson, we already learned about the visibility rules of 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Today, let's find out how do we know if a number is divisible by 4, 8, 11, and 12. Divisibility Rule for 4 If the number formed by the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4, then the original number is divisible by 4. Also, a number ending with two zeros is always divisible by 4. Example, is 812 divisible by 4? If your answer is yes, then you are correct. The last two digits of 812 is 12. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Therefore, 812 is divisible by 4. Now let's have another example. Is 3400 divisible by 4? If your answer is yes, you are correct. If you look at 3400, its last two digits is 0. That is why it is divisible by 4. Another example, is 2,615 divisible by 4? The answer is no, because the last two digits ends in 15. 15 is not divisible by 4. Next, divisibility rule for 8. If the number formed by the last three digits of a number is divisible by 8, then the original number is divisible by 8. Also, a number ending in three zeros is always divisible by 8. Example, is 12,184 divisible by 8? The answer is yes. The last three digits of 12,184 is 184. 184 divided by 8 equals 23. Therefore, 12,184 is divisible by 8. Another example. Is the number 85,000 divisible by 8? The answer is yes because it ends in three zeros. Let's have another example. Is 78,128 divisible by 8? If you are going to notice, 78,128 ends with 128, which is divisible by 8. Thus, it is divisible by 8. Next, divisibility rule for 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of digits in the odd places and the sum of those in the even places is 0 or divisible by 11. Example, is 583 divisible by 11? Look at 583. The alternate digits of 583 are 5 and 3, whose sum is 8. The remaining number is 8. If we subtract the sum of 5 and 3, which is 8, to the remaining number, which is also 8, then the answer is 0. Therefore, 583 is divisible by 11. Let's have another example. Is 35,794 divisible by 11? The 
Let's take a look at the alternate numbers. The alternate digits of 35,794 are 3, 7, and 4, whose sum is 14. Take a look at the other numbers. The remaining digits of 35,794 are 5 and 9, whose sum is also 14. If we're going to subtract 14 and 14, it is equal to 0. Therefore, 35,794 is divisible by 11. Now, this time, let's have divisibility rule for 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. In our previous discussions, we learned that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of all the digits is divisible by 3. On the other hand, a number is divisible by 4 if the number formed by the last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 or it ends in two zeros. For example, is 384 divisible by 12? Let's see first if it is divisible by 3. 3 plus 8 plus 4 equals 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. This means 384 is divisible by 3. Now, let's see if it is divisible by 4. 384 ends in 84. 84 divided by 4 equals 21. This means it is also divisible by 4. Thus, 384 is divisible by 12. Another example, is the number 1716 divisible by 12? 1716 is divisible by 3 since the sum of its digit is 15. 1 plus 7 plus 1 plus 6 equals 15. 15 is divisible by 3. 1716 is also divisible by 4 since the last two digits, 16 is divisible by 4. 1,716 is both divisible by 3 and 4, therefore, it is also divisible by 12. That's all for now, kids. I hope you learned a lot from this video and you learned about divisibility rules by 4, 8, 12, and 11. Thanks for watching, kids. Bye!